Hi everyone, this is Teacher Jane again, and my lesson for today is all about distinguishable permutations. If you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, please click subscribe and then hit the notification bell so you get updated with my new videos. And please feel free to ask questions by leaving a comment in the comment section. So let's start with the game. So I asked my two students, Ken and Bob, to come forward and they are supposed to rearrange the letters of their names and whoever comes up with the most number of new words wins the game. So these are the words they wrote. Okay, so both of them got six words. So Ken got six new words. But my students were arguing that Bob has lesser number of words and he got only got three because some of the words he wrote were already repetitions of the other. So the winner of this game is no other than Ken. The game that we had is an example of a distinguishable permutation. So what is a distinguishable permutation? It is an arrangement that can be distinguished from one another or it is arranging objects with similar members. Like in the name of Bob, B has been repeated twice. So we are going to use a different formula. N, P, taken A, B, C, where A, B, C are the members or the objects that are taken at a time. So let us use now this formula in the preceding examples. So let's have example number one, which is a distinguishable permutation of letters in a word. So let me read the example. How many possible words can be formed using all the letters of the word books? So step one is we have a guide or a formula. And then let's identify N or the number of objects that we are supposed to rearrange. So let's just count B O O K E S. So we have five objects as our N. So N is equal to five. Next is we are going to identify now our A B C or the members okay, that are distinct. So B, the letter B has one letter. Next is O, there are two O's. Okay. Next is K, there's one K, and S, there's only one X. Then we are going now to substitute this from the formula, N factorial all over A factorial, comma B factorial times C factorial. So our formula, when substituted, will become 5 factorial, which is our N, and 1 factorial is K, B. Then, 2 factorial are the number of letters that O appears. 1 factorial came from K. It appeared only once. And the last 1 factorial is S. The number of times that S appeared in our word. So, evaluating this, we can cancel now 1 factorial. Okay, all the 1 factorials and what's left. You know why I'm canceling it? Because 1 factorial is simply equal to 1. So what's left is 5 factorial divided by 2 factorial. Then you can have instantly press this in the calculator and you get an instant answer. But here, how it goes. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, you multiply them all together. Then in our denominator is 2, 1. Then we can now cancel the common factors. Okay. 2 and 1. So we only are left with 5 times 4 times 3. And 5 times 4 is 20 times 3 is 60. So there are 60 new words that you can come up with this word books. Now in example 2, I'm going to show you how to use distinguishable permutation formula okay, in numbers. So, Mrs. Bonson's numeric birthday is 07191968. If she wants to use this as her 8-digit password, how many passwords will she have? 
So first, let's be guided by our formula. Okay, let's count first the number of objects that we are supposed to rearrange. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So the value of n is 8. Then listing all the distinct numbers only from least to great, 0, there's only 1. 1. Okay, the digit 1 appeared twice. Next, 6 appeared once only. 7 is also once. 8, once also. And 9, it appeared twice. Then, substituting to the formula, N, P, taken A, comma, B, and C, our numerator or top part will have 8 factorial divided by, if you notice, I already canceled the 1 factorials and proceeded with writing only 2 factorial times 2 factorial which came from the digit 1 and 9 since these are the values that are repeated twice. So moving on, okay, 8 factorial will be expanded this way and 2 factorial also this way. Now we can cancel okay, the common factors 2, 1, and 2, 1. So what's left on the top part is 8 times 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, divided by 2. So multiplying all of those on the top part, you get 20,160 divided by 2, which is equal to 10,080 possible passwords that I can come up with. Okay, so let's move. On. Now, example number three is let me show you how this distinguishable permutation formula works with similar objects. So the class officers were assigned to decorate the hallway with a row of colored plaglets. If the plaglets consist of five reds and three greens, in how many ways can they arrange them in a row? So first, let's count the number of objects that we are supposed to arrange. Since there are 5 and 3, you just add 5 plus 3. So our n has a value of 8. And then red is repeated 5 times. So red will be equal to 5. And then green is repeated 3 times. So green is 3. Then by solution, we get NP, A, comma, B, C will have 8 factorial divided by 5 factorial times 3 factorial. Expanding this, we get 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 3, 2, 1. And obviously, we can cancel the common factors 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 on the top and the bottom part which leaves us with 8 times 7 times 6 on the top part and on the lower part we are left with 3 times 2 times 1. Now multiplying all together we get 336 divided by 6 which is equal to 56. So therefore the class officers have so many choices of designing the hallway. There are actually 56 possible designs or arrangement that they can have. Okay. So we are now moving on to the practice exercises. Okay. The best way to check your understanding is by practicing on your own. So let's have this first example. Rearrange the letters of the word Canada and tell how many outcomes are there. Okay, did you get 120? Because in the word Canada, you have six objects to rearrange. So you have six factorial. And you divide it by three factorial because the letter A appears twice. So six factorial divided by three factorial is equal to 120. Okay, let's have the last example. Okay, the last item. You forgot the order of your four-digit pin code. And the only thing that you remember is that it consists of two zeros and two ones. How many possible tries are you going to do before you can unlock your code? 
Okay, so are you able to get that you are going to just try it six times? Why? Because since you have two zeros and two ones, you only have four objects to rearrange. So our numerator will be four factorial. And then the denominator will be two factorial, which represents zero, which appeared twice. And multiply to two factorial because of one appeared twice as well. Then multiplying and canceling, you get the answer of six. So you are only going to get six ways or six possible tries for you to unlock your code. So with this, I'd like to thank all of you for watching my video. And I hope you click subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get updated with my next video, which is Circular Permutation. Bye!